Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today we will be ranking and reviewing the Illuminae Files series. So I have recently read the Illuminae Files series. If you do not know, it's a series written by uh, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. It's been like recommended pretty much all over booktube so I thought might as well read it. It sounds really interesting like you know reading a story based through collected files and it, it's more of a unique way of reading a book so I thought might as well. There are four books well there's three books in the primary series but there is a fourth book that is like kind of an added on if you want to read it you can but it doesn't it adds a little bit to the story but it doesn't add like a lot to the story so it's not like You'd be missing out if you didn't read that one extra add-on. It only came out last year, so so let's get this video started. So pretty much my rank is literally the order of which they came out, like they were published. So overall, I did actually enjoy the series as a whole. I would say give it a five star rating as a whole as a series. I thoroughly did enjoy the different characters and stuff like that. There were a couple issues with the last book that I read, which was a bit hit and miss for me in that regard, um, in terms of the rest of the series. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed the setup, the series, and everything that came to be, what was made out to be. Okay, so in fourth place we have Memento, which is 0.5. It's like kind of the add-on at the beginning of the series. Uh, and I gave that 3.93 um, out of five, I did my rating three core piles, so that's why there's the decimals. With that one, I didn't mind it. It wrapped the series around, so like it made sense as to why Aiden started doing what he was doing, or it was doing, uh, in the first book, and it shows the catalyst of what I, of what started the events in that first book. So I found it was a really good add-on. Uh, the only problem I really had with it was that it was too short, so you didn't really connect with the character and like it was really upsetting at the end I understood why people were crying but I didn't connect enough with the character to be like oh this is sad I should probably be sad as well but I'm not sad so but yeah I couldn't get a physical copy of it so it lives on my computer now because I bought it it was like four dollars I think through Google Books so it wasn't too bad of a price uh it was 80 pages 80, 50 pages so it's not too bad priced and yeah it's very short so it's pretty much a read you could read do in an hour which is what I did. Next I had Obsidio and I gave this a 4.2 a star rating. I think the main thing that really didn't connect me to this story is the split between the ship and Carenza because I did sometimes didn't know when they were on Carenza I think that's how you pronounce it I don't know or when they were back on the ship. I got very confused because I didn't know where I was and it that got a bit confusing for me and I also didn't really connect too much with the uh, Carenza car so going back to that uh, to those characters just was a bit of a letdown because it's just like no I don't really care about these people I care about the ones back on the ship can we please go back to them because they sound like they got some important shit going on. And that was my main issue with of Obsidio, but I did enjoy this, this book. It was a nice clean ending and it was a really nice ending. I think in some way I wish it was a little bit more like impactful but I didn't get that but it was still a really sweet ending and I am thoroughly pleased with how it ended. I couldn't really think of another way it could end even though I wish it was a little bit more I don't know, punchy. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit, but it wasn't like to the extent that I was hoping for because it was like so punchy with the other books and then all of a sudden it kind of felt like it went downhill in this one. So <laughs> in equal first place, we have Gemini and Illuminae. I both gave these a 4.57 rating. Uh, so I thoroughly enjoyed both of these books. Stunning books, I will have to say. I'll start with Gemini just because I'm going backwards and I don't know if that makes sense but I'm going backwards reviewing the series. It was actually really good. I enjoyed Hannah, I enjoyed Nick and I enjoyed the kind of twist at the end. Uh, it was an interesting twist to say the least. I was like in my seat going, huh? What? What's going on? But he's... What? 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 
it was a yeah that really twisted me and it was really good and even having Caddy sometimes get in and it's just like ah oh, yeah this is what's actually going on uh, it was actually really interesting and I loved whenever Caddy came in because she's just that comic relief and I feel like in some way we didn't get that comic relief in Obsidio we did but it wasn't to the full extent as it was in Gemini as well as in Illuminae, so that was a bit different. It was really good. I I don't know what else I can say. It was really good, and the story itself was like nicely planned out. It kept you hooked. So like, even though like it is in like broken up in the pages itself, but like it was a quick read. Like I'd read this within a week because I was so hooked onto this story. I know people will be like, oh no, a week's not like that bad. Like. You try a day like reading it in a day and I'll be like yeah I get ya but I read a little differently uh, if I sit down and read for more than an hour I start getting a bit hazy and I don't I'm not really concentrating as much so I break it up I don't only read for like an hour at a time I can't really sit down and read unless I am really really gripped and I think for a couple of times I was reading Gemini as well as Illuminate but like I'd get to like the two hour mark and be like yeah no I need to sit this down or like read like a couple of pages and then go do something and then come back I yeah I can't read something in one sitting like that unless it's like a hundred pages that'd be fine I can read it in one sitting but when it comes to like something like this like I need to break it up and I just feel like I've explained my reading schedule to you rather than actually review the book but yeah Gemini was good uh finally just to stop my rambling we have got Illuminae let's review room Illuminae I loved Caddy and Ezra I loved the drama I wish I had a little bit more drama from them but at the same time it was a good enough amount of drama that I am pleased with it was really good I enjoyed the um I enjoyed the drama as I said and I enjoyed like the kind of growth that Caddy went through in this book as well it mainly focused on her and I really enjoyed her growth with like you know, trying to get to a father, trying to, you know, getting through the loss that she's just gone through and trying to be independent while also still being young that she wants to be dependent on someone and it's because you know, she's just gone through such a traumatic time, it was just like, yeah, I get you, I get you Caddy. Not really, but and even Ezra in this book goes through a little bit of a growth, but not a lot that it really like jumps out. But what can you do? In all honesty, what can you do? That I reviewed the series, as I said, overall as a whole five star book series. I highly recommend to anyone who wants to read it. I know Jay Kristoff is coming under a lot of fire. And like I understand that like what he did was bad and everything. I just like the series and I've also bought a couple of other books from him and I'm curious about reading them because if I because it's like more of an enjoyment thing I know it's bad like I should be caring about what the authors are doing but at the same time it's like I really care about the enjoyment of the book I so I don't really think about what the authors are doing really and I didn't realize what Jake uh, what Jake Kristoff was or had done in the past until like recently after I'd already bought a couple of his books I've already pre-ordered the his new book coming out so it's just a bit yeah enjoyed these more for entertainment purposes I don't really care too much about authors or, like what Jay Kristoff had said to black women is disgusting and disgraceful and that should be condemned he writes a decent book well I don't know about his individual works but at least his co-authored ones were really good so I can't I, I don't yeah it's a bit of a gray space really not talking for me if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to comment down below what's your favorite Illuminate Files book like I'm curious to know which one you enjoyed which one you cried the most in which one that left you on the edge of your seat like I'm curious to know and subscribe if you want to see more from me that's it from me today I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you next time bye